Welcome to a new video of the parts channel, well, answering a question that you have left me, to see why the BMW E9320 diesel of 163 horses broke so many turbos, he explained. First, you already know that the BMW E9320 diesel D163CV is a variation of the one mounted on the E46, the 320 diesel with 150 horses, in the E46 there were not so many turbo brakes, although they also broke. But not as much, because they had the Garrett turbo, but in the E9320 diesel 163 horses, those mounted a turbo of Mitsubishi origin, which was a little more delicate, the problem that there was, was this part, this part, which is the gas recirculation filter, which you already know some, which goes next to the injectors, also next to the air filter, this piece, as I said, until 2006 this circulation filter was mounted, then from 2006 until approximately mid-September, until September 2007, I think I remember, there a gas decanter began to be assembled that it didn't give so much trouble anymore, but hey, I explain, this filter has a sponge inside then, the sponge over time, became saturated with oil and there comes a time when it could not release the pressure. Because that way the pressure of the gases inside the engine was released, then this pressure, which prevented, is that the oil that lubricates the turbo turbine shaft from flowing normally. Because it has to be lubricating continuously, the oil moving, because you know, that the turbo reaches temperatures above 600 degrees, and if the oil does not flow normally, that oil ends up degrading very quickly. It does not do its job and then this ends up affecting the turbo, causing breaks in the turbine shaft, in others they did not break, they did not break there. But they did excessive wear, the oil seeped into the intake, the vehicle went into self-combustion, and this could destroy the engine, as I say, what used to be done was, when a customer came, already knowing that there was this problem, each every time you changed the engine oil and the engine oil filter, you were advised to change this part as well. If you did not do it at the same time, at least, it would be advisable, at least, that you do it at the second. Oil change, precisely to protect the turbo, well, protect the turbo and protect the engine from that overpressure, because the oil continues to accumulate and ends up clogging, yes or yes. Okay, later, the decanters no longer gave so much trouble, but, we have also had a turbo breakage problem because the decanter had also clogged, so the decanters should also be checked, from time to time, that they are not clogged inside. Because, you know, that the oil can end up solidifying in there, and then, it can also obstruct the decanter and we would have the same problem, okay, well, here you have this explanation and well if that has been useful then do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel.